All right, folks, it is time to get back into our reviews of The Walking Dead. This is the 11th season, the final season of The Walking Dead. And this 11th uh, season will be an extended season with 24 episodes. So today we're going to be reviewing episode 1 of season 11. And this is Acheron Part 1. Now, uh, you can watch this episode as it is going to be releasing August 22nd. Uh, so yeah, if this is your first time checking out my reviews here, non-spoilers, but just to get you hyped and prepared for that episode. The things you can expect, but not to take away from your enjoyment the first time you get a chance to watch it. So, as we've seen with the conclusion of Season 10, things got a little crazy. And beyond the conflict in the world around him, we know there was going to be a lot of internal conflict. I want to talk about that in a second. Let's jump to what I got to say for this episode. It leaves you on the ultimate cliffhanger. And it's almost poetic in the sense of how everything's kind of been going. But it's it's really, I, I, I don't know what to expect. But I have a feeling that um, with the whole group trying to uh, move forward with their mission and their journeys... There's going to be a lot of trouble internally, and I really don't know how it's going to play out. But I will say at the end of this episode, it leaves you in the cliffhanger that you might not expect. So we will see. And as much as there's conflict between everybody inside the group, obviously there's bigger danger around them. And we're talking about the primary group here because we do know Eugene and all of them, uh, the four of them, Eugene, Princess, and, um, and um, Ezekiel and them. Are, have, are they've been captured by the Commonwealth? So you know we'll, we'll we'll get to them in a second. But the primary group with everybody else, uh, that's where I'm kind of focusing here. So, but yeah, Maggie's back, and as I said in my last episode review, that it's it's just really cool to see Maggie back. Um, you know, considering that she left from the show and then returning, uh, I was a little. I don't know. It was just kind of like starstruck for a minute. Like, wow, she's black. Like, they, they really pulled this off. And then forever reasons why she returned back to the series. It's always good to see the Walking Dead family back together, both the cast and then the characters. But Maggie, the character being back. Now, we know Maggie always has that complex to want to be in charge. And not only is that going to be kind of problematic here, it's be because, like, now the hierarchy is all, it's, it's all shifted all over the place. And also, that's just her mindset. So regardless of wherever she falls into place, she's always going to have that mindset of where she wants to lead. And that could be problematic for people, especially the conflict that we know is looming between her and Negan and however that's going to play out. Um, but beyond that, the whole group, they're struggling. They're trying to put Alexandra back together. They don't have food. They have got to figure out how to make this work. Uh, they have kids that they got to feed, which is the biggest emphasis here. Um, and obviously, beyond them journeying out to get food, it's also being able to protect everybody in Alexandria, as we know, has been decimated from um, the Whisperer War. So, you know, that's where we see in this episode. We see the group out journeying out to get food. Now, here's what's cool about this. Alexandria, which is in, in my location, it's about 15 minutes from me. Uh, it kind of seems kind of you know isolated in the walking dead universe but quite frankly Alexandria is like 15 minutes from washington dc and i kept wondering when we were going to get to that point and the group are on their way to dc which is really cool because they show the dc metro system and regardless of it's the apocalypse or not it still looks the same <laughs> it's still trash you know uh, but um we do because here's the thing maggie has a plan and here, again, Maggie being the leader she is, she's like, hey, I got a plan on how we can make this all work. So she wants to take the team in order to find uh, supplies, food, and everything that should hold Alexandria over. But that involves them journeying to D.C. And the only person that knows D.C. is, well, you you have to find out. But if you catch my drift here, you can imagine that she may need the services of somebody she may not totally be fond of. So... We'll kind of see how that is. And, like, the, the other thing about Maggie is Maggie's been gone for six years. So how much of Maggie has gotten over everything that's happened before she left? Or how much of her is still holding on to that pain and looking for vengeance? So that's a really interesting thing, too. Um, talking about the other members of, of the group, Daryl and Carol, they still have each other's back in a very cute way. Um, can't wait for the Daryl and Carol show. That's going to be kind of... I think it's going to be unlike anything else, to be honest, considering how they're like their banter towards each other. I think it's going to be really exciting once we get to see that. 
Um, but the biggest thing is that everybody has to stay on the same page because, like, it's still survival out there, regardless. And that's where we're truly going to see some conflict with everybody is being able to be on the same page. Now, going to the group at the Commonwealth, the four of them, they're, they're, they've been captured. We know that. And if you read the comments, you know about the Commonwealth, then you kind of got an idea of, like, how that's going to, like, in what direction they're going to go. The biggest thing with this is... What's really funny is upon entering the Commonwealth, <laughs> being processed. And the questions that they get screened with is very funny. It's, it's, it's hilarious. It's entertaining. Um, so, yeah, you're, you're going to have to kind of see how that kind of plays out. I think it was one of the most entertaining um, aspects of this e episode. Another thing, as we already know, that Michael James Shaw has been casted as Mercer. Everybody who's been... The, the one person we all been waiting to see and upon in, them entering the Commonwealth, well, him and Ezekiel has a change of words with each other. And you can imagine that's also going to be interested as well. Eugene's still looking for Stephanie. And quite frankly, they actually come into a very unlikely surprise. And we're going to actually see the four of them uh, really get put to the test as things are already kind of strange to them. They don't know where they're at. They don't understand how the Commonwealth work. They don't know if they can be trusted. But, yeah, you're, you're going to have to see how they kind of <laughs> play out with each other. But nonetheless, with this episode, this episode is dark, not in the, tone, not in the uh, terms of tone, but in the terms of lighting. And it's also kind of quiet uh, more often than not in this episode. Uh, but the overall tone of this episode is truly anticipating the whole like what can go wrong will go wrong because every turner turn and corner they take it just seems like up oh, something's about to happen so you know it's 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 one of those type of episodes uh so definitely a lot of drama a lot of a lot of conflict for the viewers of deciding whose side to be on um i know for one i i love jeffrey dean morgan so negan you know I always feel a certain special way for him, regardless of his past. I have forgiven him, but but that's not to say that the group has. So you know, it's interesting to kind of see that. Um, but yeah, you know, it's time for me to jump over to uh, reviewing the second episode. I need to watch it first, but yeah, definitely. Let me know your excitement and your anticipation for this episode. And once you're done, then you can step over to the following episode, and then you will have to kind of have to wait till you can see it because yes we did get to be able to see the a couple of episodes early but i will not be spoiling anything for you that way you can still enjoy them once you get an opportunity to do so so but yeah folks thank you so much for watching this one and uh, i'll see you over for that next review in a second